Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and today it's time to take a look at what's been selling out of the eBay store. Martin Man. Martin Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a part-time reseller based out of Montana. That means I've got a day job. I work at a radio station. And then when I get off of work, I get to go to thrift stores. And on the weekend, I go to garage sales and estate sales, places like that. I find things that I think are priced too low and then sell them or resell them online for a profit. And we're using that to pay off student loans and medical bills and... Uh, uh, we've got a kid. That's expensive, right? So it, it's a great way to make some extra money. Looking at videos of what sold for different people is a great tool. Now, somebody watching this a year from now, all of this information, maybe even a month from now, all of this information is outdated, right? Prices change, the market shifts. So do your research, but at least right now, this is the stuff that's selling on eBay. Now, like a lot of people, my sales have slowed down over the last week, two weeks, right around in there somewhere, things have definitely slowed a little bit. And there's lots of reasons for that just in the world, right? But it, it generally happens around this time. Don't worry about it. Keep doing what you do. Keep listing. And the sales are going to come. They're going to come back. Now, a lot of the stuff that I've actually been selling this week has been uh, pretty low dollar, honestly. We've got some nice sales sprinkled in there, but there's some low dollar sales in here. And I, I know some people disagree and say, you know what? It's got to be worth five times my money or it's got to be worth twenty dollars or whatever the it seems to me arbitrary number is i don't really have that line i look at is it worth my time how long will it take me to pick up that thing to clean it if i need to clean it how long will it take me to list it how big is it you know how much room is it going to take to store it and then when it sells how quick is that going to be so if i can check all of those boxes of you know what? It's it's cheap, it's small, easy to list, and it's going to take seconds to box up and send out. That fits the bill for me. So I'm, I'm okay with that. And we've got some of that uh, on the list here. And really, the first thing that sold starting on Monday is uh, is interesting because it, it, it fits the bill for that, but it also checks an extra box, and that's quantity listings. Now, I'm really kind of bummed out. Uh, this right here is my last one. This is the last L'Oreal Paris. This is exclusively for light blondes. Uh, if you want to get smoky silver hair, that's what it is. Now, I picked this up at the grocery store this summer. I was actually getting ready to go on a road trip, uh, a sourcing road trip, and I uh, stopped in the store to pick up some, uh, some drinks and snacks, that sort of thing. And these were sitting at the front by the registers in, uh, in a cart on sale. And uh, you can see down there, look at that sticker is still on there. 89 cents is what I paid for. I think it's 18 of these. And I, I picked up all of them that were there. And it took a while to sell. We sprinkled a couple sales in there and then they sat for a while. And then suddenly a drop shipper found me. And I don't know where they're selling, if it's on Amazon or what, but uh, they've uh, they bought about half of these. And uh, they've sent these out, of course, as gifts to a lot of different people. And uh, I, I'm I'm good with that. I don't care if you drop ship off of me and you're making a little bit. I'm making a little bit. We're all happy. Now, I paid 89 cents for these. They're selling for $14.73 free shipping. Okay. Now, the shipping rates have gone up. Obviously, that cuts my margin a little bit, right? But I actually did some math and I sold several of these this week. So let me look down here at my sheet because I can't remember numbers. So I had 18 of these. I sold them. Well, I I, I've sold 17. We're just going to assume for the sake of the math that I'm going to sell this one. It might just sell overnight. Who knows? They've been selling pretty quickly uh, lately. So 1473 times 18, that's $265 and 14 cents. Now, of course, you got to take out eBay fees. Okay. So that puts us down at $230.67. Now it's free shipping. So it depends on where it goes. Sometimes it's $496. Sometimes it's $568, you know, whatever, you know, but basically, just for easy math, it's going to average about five bucks. This comes in at uh, 13 ounces when I package it up. And all I need to do is wrap it in uh, one wrap of bubble wrap, put it in a box, tape it shut. That's it. It's a super easy packing job. So that checks the easy to ship box, right? 
So let's just assume for the math, $5 to ship these times 18, that's $90 of shipping. So take that out of our 230 and change. We're left with $140.67. Now you got to take out the initial buy cost, right? 89 cents a piece times 18. I paid $16 and two cents for all of these. So what does that leave us with for paying $16.02 at the grocery store register for these things with one listing and a quantity of 18. So very easy. Our profit after fees, after shipping, after initial buy cost, $124.65 for one listing. Yeah, I had to send them out 17, almost now 18 times, but I made 125 bucks. So yeah, it's small profit, but it was small profit over and over and over 17, almost 18 times. That, to me, is a fantastic deal. So you've got to decide what works for you. What fits your business model? What fits your personality? What fits in your selling space, right? There's a lot of things you've got to consider. This is not a one-size-fits-all thing when we talk about reselling. But I think for a lot of people, selling the smaller stuff is okay, you know, especially if it checks all those, especially if it's a quantity listing. Now, that can't be your entire store. You don't want to have a whole store of, I sold something for $7.99 free shipping. That can't be all you sell. It, otherwise, you're going to have to sell an awful lot of it to make any kind of money. So let's take a look at the other stuff that I sold. And I actually mentioned this on the last video, the Pearl Izumi Fat Tire Cycling Jersey. I paid 4 or $5 for this at the thrift store at uh, Goodwill. And it sold for $29.81 plus shipping. And it sold in about a week week and a half. It sold really, really quickly. Then I sold this Game of Thrones animated DVD. Talk about a low dollar item, but this came in a bulk deal. So, you know, that that's when you sell all of it. And I'm really nothing into this at, at this point, which is good because I made almost nothing off of it. $6.59 free shipping, but it is media mail shipping. Still only made a couple bucks profit. This uh, Alien Power Loader. This is a uh, Lennard. It's like the cheap knockoff version of uh, the higher end toys. I got a whole package of alien stuff. This, I guess, would be another example of low dollar sellers. I got a, uh, I got this, the power loader, which sold for nine dollars plus shipping. I got uh, three, I believe, of the aliens themselves. I sold those off for fifteen or twenty bucks. I got the uh, little face hugger, the little, you know, cross. I, I sold that thing. I got one of the little eggs that the face hugger sits in. Sold that thing. So I basically parted this thing out. And I made quite a bit of money off of all the individual little pieces, like Commonwealth says, parted out. So small dollar items, but they added up to a pretty nice sale. This was our last piece to sell out of that little set. Then I sold some media medias in easy sell. Secret of Kells. This is a DVD. It still sold for $9.98 plus shipping. So, you know, you don't make a whole lot, but this actually, I listed it and then it sold the very next morning. So I didn't list it very, have it listed very long. And media is super easy to list and ship. So I made a couple bucks, easy peasy. Now you recognize this guy, he sold once before. We did a whole video on him selling once before. Guess what? That person, once they got it, said, uh, ordered by mistake, wrong one. I, I don't know. They sent it back. So we previously sold my buddy for $215 free shipping. So they shipped him back and he was, uh, he, he was just fine. You know, not, nothing wrong with him. So I refunded them as obnoxious as it was and relisted him and he sold again. And if you notice this time, he sold for a little bit more. He sold for just under $235 free shipping again. But I sent this UPS. I don't remember the last time, but this time I sent it UPS and it only went to uh, California. So I think I paid, it was less than $15 to, to ship this guy. So still pretty solid profit on Buddy. Sold for the second time. Then we sold a video game, Tony Hawk's Underground 2 for the GameCube. This one went for $19.76 plus shipping. Sold an action figure from X-Men back from 1993. This is Sabretooth. He also sold for $19.76 plus shipping. A Danica Patrick pink jersey. Uh, this one, I didn't see a whole lot of the, the pink jerseys listed. And so I thought, you know what? We're going to take a shot on this. I got it for, I, I think it was $4 at the thrift store. So I thought, yeah, why not? We'll give it a shot. And it actually sold uh, in about uh, about a month is what it took. And it sold for $29.81 
plus shipping. Then I sold a Revereware pan. I sold that Revereware tea kettle the other day after it had sat for like a year. And now I've sold two more Revereware things since then. So all of a sudden there's a Revere surge. This didn't sell for a whole lot. This was a one quart pan sold for $16.74 plus shipping. Sold a Christmas ornament. That stuff is still selling. This is a Fitz and Floyd. Nothing into this at this point. I made a big bundle deal for a whole bunch of Christmas stuff a little while ago, and we sold through a mess of it. I've still got more that I didn't get listed, to be honest with you, and I will get to that eventually. I stopped listing it. Even though Christmas sells all year round, I just got tired of listing Christmas. So we'll get back to it, and we'll sprinkle it in with the listings. But still, this thing sold. This glass Santa sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Uh, toy Transformers. This is uh, Headmaster Skull Cruncher, sold for thirty-two dollars and fifteen cents plus shipping. I got this actually off of a whatnot auction. I got, I think it was five of these or six of these. I think it was six of them, different versions. But I got them for just under a hundred bucks, and they've all been selling for thirty and forty dollars. So we made some solid profit off of those. This I, I think I might have one left. Sold the hair dye again. $14.73, free shipping. Then I sold this Bioshock syringe, and I put all the keywords in there, you know, costume, cosplay. This is from uh, from a video game, and there are actually not very many of these out there. I, I looked up, there was a couple new in a package and, and, and stuff like that, so I, I priced it pretty aggressively and was just waiting for offers. I, I saw that one had sold that was broken for pretty good money, so I thought, you know what, we're, we're going to price it up and we'll sit and wait. I, I paid, actually, from uh, from a guy locally here. He he deals a lot in video games. We talked about him on a recent episode, and and all he does is sell video games and, uh, and uh, consoles, accessories, that sort of thing. Well, this came with a lot of stuff that he bought. It was sort of a, a hodgepodge of gamer stuff but not games, right? And so he wasn't interested in it. And so I bought the crate from him. I even got the milk crate to go with it. And uh, that's good because now I've got some vinyl sitting in there. It works for storage. Great. Uh, I, I bought everything for 20 bucks, And this thing sold out of there for $66.99. And we've got lots of other pieces. Actually, one more piece, high dollar piece, already sold out of that. We'll get to that here in a minute. Sold another hair dye. $14.73, free shipping. Sold a, a low dollar. This might be our lowest dollar. This was from, I kind of even forgot I had it up. I, I bought a whole bunch of G.I. Joe uh, parts and accessories and the file cards and all sorts of stuff probably three years ago. And I, I think I, the lady asked for 20 bucks for all of it. And we made hundreds of dollars, uh, many hundreds of dollars off of that. I, I parted all that out. At some point, I got tired of G.I. Joe stuff. And so I actually just made a couple of reseller lots and put them on eBay. And they sold quickly of all the little accessories. And uh, this was just a leftover piece that was still listed. And I kind of forgot about it sitting in the smalls bin. It sold for $5.25 free shipping. It made a little more since three years ago when shipping was a little bit lower. Uh, I think it was uh, $3.96 to ship this out. So I don't know, do the math. Maybe I made a dollar, whatever. Uh, this Harley hat, I paid $2.99 at Goodwill for, and I took an offer of $15 plus international shipping up to Australia. Then that $7.99 I mentioned, this Minion Plus, he came in a grab bag, and uh, there were a couple of higher dollar items in one of those toy bags, and he was just in there, and I thought, you know what? I, I really only wanted the other stuff, but he's here. It's silly not to list him because it's a couple of pictures and on a, off of a self similar, why not? So I, I listed the guy, priced him competitively so that he would move. And sure enough, seven ninety nine, free shipping on the Minion plush. Then I sold another video game, Mortal Kombat. Paid uh, once I bundled this uh, together with stuff, probably uh, probably three bucks from a. It was a different uh, Facebook Marketplace deal that I made here in town, and it sold fourteen dollars seventy three cents plus shipping. A vintage smiley face pin. $9.98, free shipping. You see, a lot of my smalls are moving. Star Wars Return of the Jedi Vintage Sticker Sheets. Another Whopper here, $7. But I did charge shipping on this one. So we made a little bit more off of that. A few more here left to go. Kingdom Hearts for the PS3. Another banger, 7 bucks. But the guy did pay international shipping to Peru. And I think that's the first thing that I've sold to Peru. So check that one off the list. Then we sold a wrestling figure, Jimmy Hart, $14.73, free shipping. The other thing that I sold out of that uh, that gamer lot already, there's actually a pretty high dollar 
uh, Funko Pop in there that I think we should get 40 or 50 bucks for. A couple of other small things that I've already listed. We're, we're going to do well off that $20 buy, but uh, this piece really good this made by NECA they make pretty high-end stuff it's the Bioshock splicer welder mask replica I probably could have let it sit and made Ryan around 80 bucks but I thought you know what let's just move it let's make that money it's been a slow week with low dollar sales all right so he sent me an offer of 50 we bounced back and forth and uh, settled in on 60 bucks plus shipping all profit at this point and then we sold a little uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vinyl and that went out the door another whopper six dollars 99 cents but i didn't charge shipping so if you're out there going man i'm not selling anything or man all i'm selling is this little junky stuff that i listed in 30 seconds and figured why not that's what i'm selling too we sprinkled in a couple of good sales in there but really just a lot of littles and you know what that's okay it keeps the activity in the store going people are still coming in and I, i'm okay with that you know it, it, it'll turn around I, I listed it i can't complain when it sells right if you don't want to sell the small dollar stuff don't list the small dollar stuff me i'm okay with it i would just prefer it uh be more sprinkled than uh dumped for the week and we've got a whole dumping of smalls this week We'll see if this weekend turns it around a little bit. It's been nice, actually, to sprinkle in the the whatnot auctions in there. Talking about sprinkles, we've had a couple of those here uh, in the last week or so, and that's actually helped a little bit to uh, to soften the blow of the low eBay sales. So uh, probably another one coming up this weekend. Uh, if you guys haven't followed me on whatnot, it, it's been a lot of fun. But anyway, that's what I got for you today, guys. Nothing, nothing big, nothing exciting. And sometimes that's how it is.